Yannick Sinner won the U.S. Open weeks after it was ruled that he bore no fault for two anti-doping violations. Yannick Sinner's coach has revealed that he told the Italian he did nothing wrong during his doping saga. Days before the U.S. Open started, an independent tribunal had ruled that Sinner bore no fault or negligence after twice testing positive for banned substance Clostabol in March. The news was kept under wraps until after the hearing concluded, and debate around whether Sinner received special treatment dominated the first few days of the U.S. Open. By default, the world number one had been provisionally suspended after both positive tests. But within hours, his team successfully argued that the tests were the result of contamination via his then-physio. Three experts found this explanation plausible, and the International Tennis Integrity Agency did not object, so Sinner was allowed to continue playing. The final ruling also meant he avoided a ban. After the news broke, Nick Kyrgios called for him to be suspended. Even Roger Federer commented on the inconsistencies compared to how other players are treated following anti-doping violations. But the 23-year-old's coach Darren Cahill staunchly defended him. After Sinner put the saga behind him to lift his second Grand Slam title in Flushing Meadows, the Australian tennis coach covered his face and appeared to tear up. He later admitted the weight of the doping case got to him. I think that is more of an old man's reaction, to be honest. An exhausted old man. Cahill told ESPN. I am not the main coach in this team. Simone Vagnozzi is the main coach. But I am the most experienced. So the last three or four weeks, or the last four months, really a lot of what has been going on within the team has laid on my shoulder. 